Hey guys, Colleen here at DIYBehindLemonThistle.com and today I'm excited to share a little peek of our entryway, although I'm not ready to share the whole thing with you yet. And today I want to talk about how easy it is to install a smart lock in your home. And this video is part of our Modern Handmade Home series, which I do every month over on my blog with some of my favorite bloggers. I will link to their posts below. This month we're talking all about uh, door hardware and I am really excited that this fit into when we were making over our entryway. We are making over our entryway like top to bottom, everything. So if you would like to see more before photos, more about the plans, you can hop over to my blog post. I'll link to that below as well. For this video, we partnered with Schlage. And I am so impressed with how easy this was to install, but also how beautiful it is. I have always kind of avoided smart locks because I didn't think that they were very beautiful. And so when I spotted this one, I was like all over it. Before we get started, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor video. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need to do is unpack your instructions and all of your materials and have it laid out so that it's ready for you. Then you can go onto your phone and you can download the Schlage app. On the app, there's an installation video that will take you through step-by-step, -step, much like the manual. But it has videos and is really easy to follow. In order to install the lock, you'll want to make sure that your door and frame are aligned. We were just installing our door today, so we didn't need to worry about that. If you have an old door that had previous hardware in it, you would also need to remove that. The first thing that you'll want to check is your back set. So you measure from the center of your hole to the edge of the door. Once you've measured your back set, it's time to install the bolt and the strike. Depending on your back set length, you might need to adjust the length of your bolt and you just do that by twisting. You'll see that there's a little channel and as you twist, it will change from the one size of back set to the other. Okay, once you've adjusted the length of your bolt, you can go ahead and install it by sliding it into the hole and then using your screwdriver to secure it. You can see that we have an inset in the end of our door here. That's called a mortise, mortise, mortise? Not sure how to say that word, but if you don't have one of those, then there's different instructions. You would have to remove that little end plate where we're screwing it in and you would be tapping your bolt in instead. Then you can install the strike into the door frame. Make sure to use reinforcement screws and reinforcement plate that come in your box for the added security. Use a flathead screwdriver to test your lock mechanism just to make sure that it turns properly and there's nothing binding. Now take your touch screen and you can put that on the front of the door and there is a clip that snaps into the crossbore and it will actually click so that you know it's in place. The cable will come underneath your bolt so that it's ready to clip into the other piece on the back of your door. Once you have the keypad in place, install the support plate on the inside of the door. You'll want to hold the touch screen tight using your hand on the outside of the door while you install these screws. The support plate will install two ways and so you want to make sure that the indented circle is facing the door. There's also a little slot for the cable so make sure you feed that through before you screw it in place. Okay, once that's done you get to install the alarm assembly. Pull off the battery cover before you install it. From here you can connect the cable into your alarm assembly. There's only one way that this cable will connect so make sure to line it up using the colored dot. Okay, then you can install the alarm assembly. There is a tab that you need to line up and then there's a channel for the cable so that it doesn't get in the way of it attaching in place. So make sure you align everything before you move on. Take the long screw that's included and attach your alarm assembly to your door. Then you can go ahead and install your batteries. Now it's time to set up the lock using the access codes on the outside of your user guide. So go ahead and enter those and it will do a setup process where it moves the bolt out and in and you can get it connected to your phone at this time. After you have done that, you can test the deadbolt and ensure that it opens and closes smoothly, both manually and using the access code that you set up. If it operates smoothly, you're good to go onto the handle set. So you can see here, we're doing again what we did on the deadbolt, installing the faceplate, depending if we have a inset in the side of the door or not. Installing the handle set is a little bit stressful because the other two holes come in the door, but the bottom hole of your handle set, you have to drill yourself. 
So make sure to measure really well, use a level and a straight edge before drilling the hole in the door for the bottom of the handle set. The post on the bottom of the handle does adjust up and down, so you do have a little bit of grace that way. Adjust the bottom bolt to the hole that you've drilled and slide it into place before connecting the bottom using the bolt that is provided. Once you've bolted it in place, there is a little button that comes with it. It's a little cover for that bolt. Just make sure to put the notch at the bottom and pop that into place. This blends in so well with the back of the door, which we stained really dark, almost black. Next, you can install the interior chassis and make sure that that goes on really straight so you don't have any issues installing your knob. Once that's done, you can go ahead and you can install your handle. We switched out the lever handle that came with this set for a Bowery knob to match the rest of the knobs at our main floor. So to install the knob, put on your interior trim and then insert your knob and tighten the set screw. Your door handles should work perfectly now. From here, I went ahead and I set up the Wi-Fi adapter for the Schlage Sense. This is super easy. It just plugs in and then from your phone, you'll just need to follow the prompts on your phone to connect it to your Wi-Fi. Once this is done, you can go in and you can set up all the access codes that you need. We went and set up different access codes for our parents. You could do childcare. You could give each of your kids different lock combinations so you can see who's let themselves in. I also love that you can make temporary codes. You can make it work for you know, a day and then you can delete that code. You can also set recurring codes. So if you know that your house cleaner comes every Monday at 3 p.m., you can set it up to have that code only work between 2.30 and 6.30 on Mondays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. Don't forget to hop around and check out the other Modern Handmade Home Girls videos. I'll put those all in a playlist and I'll link that below for you. We'll see you guys next time.